Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Barry Chapel coming to you live from Hollywood, California, home of Primetime Shopping Network, and we have a big show for you. Oh, Wilson, they got to come in close on that one dog real fast. Yeah, Barky at the end, whichever one, the Cocker Spaniel. I have three Pam Foss here. Uh, she is a legend. Those were done in 2006. But some of her pieces, Patty was pointing out, one that was for resale was on first dibs for $9,500 or $7,500. We haven't named the dogs yet. We figured that's up to the person that buys it. Uh, no, Wilson, we're not going to call them Larry, Curly, and Mo. That's not going to work tonight. I have some Pam Foss. I have everything here tonight. Wilson, I got Betty Boo. That's of your childhood, right? It's right behind the easel. There, look at those green eyes. That was a big deal when you were a kid for a cartoon, right? That's a little before my time. Little before your time? Yeah. All right. Got all kinds of great stuff. Have some gold coins on my desk that Ashley will tell you about. Got all kinds of good stuff. So I don't know where to start. Oh, I know where to start. Have you ever seen clown cooks in a knife fight? Yeah, I didn't think you had. And I cannot. They're three-dimensional art, too. Look at this. See, it's uh, multiple levels to each piece. This is BC 2863. Now, what is the name of this one? Kitchen Cooking Series by George, what's his last name? We'll say it again. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Oh, George Krayos. Yeah, Krayos. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mr. M. Sky Terrier. Boston Terrier, Sky. Is some type of spaniel? Yes. Some type of, uh, not sure. And he water spaniel. Huh? Water spaniel. Water spaniel. Water spaniel. And then um, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Now, what did he say this one was? The middle one? Yeah, because this one seems a little foofy. It's a Sky Terrier. Sky Terrier, but it, that dog seems to radiate like I'm better than the other two. Did you get that same feeling, Wilson? Yeah. I don't know, Patty. You think this dog's stuck up? Foofy, foofy, foofy. foofy. Well, I'm, well, we're gonna auction these in a little while. I got comps from first dibs. All right. Look at this three-dimensional kitchen scene with a clown. It's uh, 3D art decoupage. Deca deca Say it again. Decoupage. Are you sure it's decoupage? Okay. And somebody dropped the food. And the dog with a chef hat or a small chef, sous chef, is getting ready to eat it. What would you do to that if it was a clown? Now, I love him. This guy is pretty well known this one I think he's so mad he's gonna have a knife fight never give an angry clown a knife while he's cooking tell me I'm wrong Ashley someone's gonna get stabbed in this one two eight six two oh that's a convenient excuse Uh huh. Yeah, three D decoupage. Did I say it right, Wilson? 
What other word can you think of that starts with a D-E, Wilson? Not like deer, but deca. I, do, I don't know. I'm just asking him. Uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I like it. All right. Now, these retail uh, about 2700 because they're hand done. They're everything. I'll tell you what. Which one do you want to start with, Ashley? Ashley is quite the cook. I stole some of her uh, pumpkin pie. She gave me two pieces, and I stole a half of a third piece, blamed it on Wilson. <laughs> Which one do you like best? I'm going to say Dewey. I like them both the same. All right, I am going to start. Oh, yes, they would. They would be amazing in someone's kitchen. 2862. Tell you what, easily uh, 1400, 1500, unframed. They got to get all that right. Watch this, Ashley. Start at zero. No, no, I'll tell you what, let's make it easier. $200 to open, $50 increments. And you can have the clown chefs crying, trying to blame it on an onion. I think they're just sad clowns. No. I don't cut many onions. I eat onions and they don't make me cry. You put them in the freezer before you slice them. Yep, it works wonders. Does it? Yep. Isn't that what Juliet used to do with the dead bodies? Mm -hmm. She puts them in the freezer before she slices them. Oh, now she's going, who told them? Are you kidding me? These are fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars List price, 2700 And I got it for 200 Okay. Well... Yes, there are one, two, three, four chef clowns here, and one of the chef clowns is smoking. Same deal. 200 to open, $50 increments. I got the Marquette to a Zach's piece. I have some amazing Angeles. I got Betty Boop. Got all kinds of great stuff. Nobody look at this clown. This guy should be in trouble. Are you allowed to smoke cigarettes while you're cooking in a... a what do you think Gordon Ramsay would do to that guy? I did you? Was he nice to you? Where did you meet him? A club. What kind of club? The what? 12th and I. Is it like a dance club? No, Wilson, I got it. How, do, how does Gordon Ramsay dance? Is it... How does Gordon... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you met Gordon Ramsay. Okay, no one will open at 200. All right. You got quite the Olympic piece over here, but... Might not be time. Tell you what I will do. If you watch my show with David Lloyd Glover last week, a uh, new registrant called up and bought two pieces, then canceled. And this was one of the most important pieces in David Glover's show. And well, 2852. Two. Now, 
David Lloyd Glover said that'd be, uh, I mean, because it's dowry worthy, 70, 80,000, he'd say at least 45, 50 in a gallery in America. And yeah, list way up there. And it was just beautiful. And at the end of the show, there's a lot of interest, but one guy, new customer, called up and offered to buy two pieces and we sold them and then he changed his mind. If somebody wants an amazing David Lloyd Glover, obviously we don't have the piece here because the piece is at our shipping place being all boxed up to ship to a guy. And that's a perfect size Glover. And he is one of the world's best. 12 by 24, a flower path for your love. But you got to say it right, Wilson. This is not like decoupage. This is a flower path for your love. Can you get down deep like that? Love. Love. You got it. You got it. Now, this was the other one. And what was the name of this one? Garden statue. Garden statue. And that's like Zeus or Apollo or who did we figure out that was? What? Oh, David told us that I forgot. I think that's, is that Julius Caesar? It's Caesar. Yeah, now if you're interested in these two pieces, they're worth like a billion dollars, but call Ashley. She has my permission to give one incredible deal on these two already boxed up, ready to ship David Loy Glovers. All right. Yeah, I got some gold coins here. I'll tell you what I got. Ashley, I'm going to live dangerously. No. I have sold this Gofield, and it didn't go through. And this is one of the most amazing Michael Schofield. He painted it in 2023. 23 or 22? That's 23. It's on the back. I'll show you where it is on the back. Is that 22 or 23? Twenty-two and a half. Twenty-two. Now, this is an original Michael John Schofield. He quit painting. He quit painting. He uh, retired. And, folks, he is one of the greatest. He is in the Library of Congress collection. He is in the Billion Dollar Arm and Hammer collection. He got very famous painting for Stephen J. Canal Productions. A lot of his paintings were in some of the big movies. He's 76 now. What did David say? 70, 74. Here's a pastel 10, 15 years ago, they wanted a fortune for. And he has painted some amazing works. He is like, here's Hub's historical $48,500. But actually, look at this. This is. And, this is one of the nicest seascapes I've ever had. You can feel the mist coming off the rock right there. Now, 
using all the knowledge at Patty's command, what would you do? Would you price this? Would you auction it? Just before I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't like turning the mic off. What's your idea? Auction. Starting where? Oh my goodness. Ashley, yes, what would your idea be? He quit painting landscapes, seascapes. He's retired, full retired. All right, and you wouldn't? I don't know. Matt, how many people are actually watching me on the internet? Can they prove it's really me, Wilson? Uh, all right. Patty thinks I should dye my hair back. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. What do you think? She's only seen me with gray hair. She never saw me with black hair. Oh, oh no. What? Oh, yeah, she stalked me. Oh, yeah, no, I. I'll tell you what. Ooh. That's too cheap, Ashley. But, Ashley. I'm going with her idea, and that would hurt. I guess I paid more. She, all right, it's between what Ashley said and what Patty says. What, what are you going to do, Wilson? You got a 40 by 30 it's a 40 by 30. I don't know what kind of cat. Oh, my gosh. Tell you what. $700 to open, $100 increments. I'm going to lose money, but you're going to get a great Schofield. $700 to open on a $25,000 Michael Schofield. Look at that. He retired. He doesn't paint. We are very live. They changed my batteries. I know I'm live. Great job. I'm so proud of you. Any open on this? Michael Schofield. No open once. I can't believe this. No. Open. Twice. At $700. On a 30 by 40 seascape. He's in the billion, with a B, billion dollar Arm & Hammer collection. He's in the Library of Congress collection. He's in the Smithsonian. That's how important Michael Schofield is. No open once. No open twice. Fair. And final no open. I am just going to walk down here. Let me. I could do that. I could do that. We have the open. Thank you. We have 700. That is a steal. And what I love about Michael Schofield is he doesn't hide it, but he blends his signature in. Like right there. And instead, some artists sign all the way across the bottom. No, 
He signs it, blends it in there. You see that, Wilson? See, Patty is holding up a finger. One finger to signify what? One bidder. Now, I don't want to cause trouble, but Patty, your index finger would be a better finger to hold up, okay? Because, you know, when I'm sitting here and I see her going, one bidder, 700 going once, 700 going twice. Does she only do that to me? She doesn't do that to Jack, does she? No, never, just me. All in, all said. That is sold, and thank you. Who got that, Ashley? Hey, Ashley, who got that? Mr. P. B. B. Like Barry. Thank you, Mr. B. I like B. All right. There's only one other Schofield left on this planet that I own. It is right here. I own a couple abstract Schofields, but this was painted in 2023. This Shades of Tangerine. What is that one movie that came out? Shades of Black or Shades of Gray? Fifty Shades of Gray. Not that you've ever watched it. What, what was it about? Seeing how you read the book. I don't know if you really read the book or watched the film. You just uh, plead the fifth. Huh? Uh, all right, I'll tell you what. This is as much tangerine in an autumn painting as I have ever seen. This painting is up for auction. Now, Ashley, where would you start this painting? Is there an item number? Yes. So where would you start it? Oh, you want to know the item number. BC 279. What? What do you think comes out? No. Well, you know it's not a zero or a one. What else could it be? It could be a, uh, what, three? Yes! But you're looking at your computer. You cheated. All right. This is stunning, and this is the last landscape, seascape, or landscape, landscape. I have one other seascape. Where would you like, where, would, where should I start this? All right. You know, this is, even at this size, this is 25, 35,000. He's retired completely. $500 to open is what Ashley just said. Yeah, I think my whole family dumped me, Wilson. I call Katie up. She never calls me back. Call Ben up. Said, hey, I need to know what you want for Christmas. None of them called me back. I even told them, called them the other day and said I kidnapped a little elf. Yeah, I had to beat him senseless. And he wasn't revealing what you want, so why don't you call me up before I hurt another elf? And they never called me back. This is the last landscape I have from Michael Schofield. At $500 to open. Oh, I like those dogs. I got a lot of cool stuff tonight. Has some gold coins. No open once. So, Ashley, you're telling me your one out of two ain't bad? Because the song is two out of three ain't bad. You've only sold one, and this is two. 
And this is cheaper. What? We want an open. We want an open, yes. At 500, and can you take them gently down that stream, Wilson? Slowly, like merrily, merrily, merrily. As we wrote, what is it? Merrily, merrily, merrily. Life's but a dream. This is so cheap. This is the Michael Schofield. Billion dollar Arm and Hammer collection. We have 500. Thank you. $500. It is a stunning work. Five hundred looking for six. Five hundred dollars going once. Five hundred dollars going twice. Fair and final warning. All in. All said, sold. sold. Now I'm going to put this up because I either did a awful pitch presentation on this. This is BC2765. This is John Milan. What's that? Yeah, yeah, you got it. I just never had one. Oh, it's up there now. Now, John Milan has an art school. John Milan has a Milan art school. He has had some very, very, very famous graduates. Him, he himself, John Milan, is nationally famous. This painting, him and his wife, who also helps a lot, wouldn't, didn't sell this. This hung in their house for four or five years. It was one of their favorite paintings and I said, hey John, I need something special. John does a lot of prints. Like, look at this. This is a unique original right here. This one right here is uh, on paper BC 2775. Re Reality, I believe, is the name of this one. Tranquility, my bad. Look at that. That's an original painting by John Milan. You know, these are amazing. He is one of the great artists. He was referred to me by Todd Hale, who has been in publishing for 40 years. And he lives in Clearwater, Florida. And they hold some of their big graduations in Miami. I mean, some of his originals like this, this is oil and acrylic on canvas. And he said he struggled with this to get the foreground right, to make it pop, to make things stick out. Like this turquoise here and there. This is a major painting. And to even get a shot at one that meant so much to John and Ellie Milan that it hung in their house for five years. <coughs> he said, Barry, I want to give you the best I got. And look at those little uh, light blue 
Uh, coming up right back here, Wilson. You see, just shooting up. I mean, it is amazing. This is 35, 50,000, John Mawan and the Mawan Art School. He is a force to be reckoned with. He is an amazing guy. I want to sell this, and I want to, if you want something that just will make your house, and it will change before your eyes, that's what he specializes in doing. You'll look at it, you'll walk around it, uh, you'll sit down, and the next day you'll say, I didn't even notice that. And then you'll see the colors that are pulling into the next part of the painting. This is the original, the, the whole Transcendence series. And Tranquility is the name of this piece. That is oil and acrylic on canvas. It's a one-of-a-kind original. It's not one where there's 20 that look like it. There's only one. And this paint, painting started that entire Transcendence series which is, he's already famous before that, but really made him famous. Tell you what I'm going to do. I want to get everybody interested tonight. And I'm going to, I am going to get in more trouble than you know, because I'm going to lower the price on this, Wilson. You know, it's so close to Christmas and all. Do you get more coal for Christmas this year? All right. You gobbled up quite a few pieces of Ashley's pumpkin pie. Or did you have only one? Two pieces, huh? Okay. Yeah, she's a good cook. Tell you what, I'm going to make somebody so happy, and I hope you take me up on this, because this is, I'm, I'm probably subsidizing your sale, and if there's a painting I should own, it is definitely this one. Watch this. Not 35000 not 25000 but 2500 to open. That is a perfect painting. 36 by 48. He uses both acrylic and oil. And you'll notice how the flowers in the front of the painting are perfect. And you look at the little ruffles in the water in the pond behind it. This is as good of an original as you could ever buy anywhere in the world. And at 2500 Oh, this is an important painting. Look at that. No open once. And Ashley, I love this painting, and I don't want to get in any more trouble I am, because I originally was supposed to be up at 3500 and I lowered it to 2500 But if somebody gets close and they really want this painting, call Ashley. Well, I'll see if I can't, you know, sharpen my pencil, turn on my calculator, find out something else I can do. But this is like the best John Milan has. And Ashley, I'll tell you what else. We sell these for a ton of money. The, uh, what's the name of this street trank? What is this? Uh, was this? Transcend series, but I think it's called Reality. I'll tell you what, these are 3,500. This is BC 2775. Reality. Now, here's what I'm going to do. No, hold that right there. Yeah, hold Because I'm going to get one more. I am going to offer the painting, a reality, and one more. I'm going to make this such a Christmas special. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh, you got that crooked. Yeah. That is a mountain. And next to the mountain, oh, this is a real leaks. 
Hey Ashley, you get 7,500 for this next one. I'm throwing in there too. Look at this. Look at this right here. This is rain. BC 2777. You got the original of a lifetime, and these are 4,500 and 4,500, and that's 35,000. I'm going to throw out a number, Ashley. And this is rock, rock, rock bottom. Rock, rock, rock. Paper and scissors. <laughs> All right, here's what I'm going to do all three pieces, and I am subsidizing your sale. Don't do it, Barry. Step away from the painting chapel. Don't do it. Do it, Barry. Do it. No, I can't. Don't do it. Come Don't on, say it. You can do it. 2200 for all three pieces. Wow. Don't do it. Uh, sorry, I, I want to change my mind. My, I, I can't do it, but. And I hope you don't take me up on this. It's going to be like. Lucille Ball, Ricky Ricardo. Lucy, you got a lot of explained to do. Who did they just get these, these two? And the original. And the big one? The big there. That is the one that hung in his house. John Milan. Uh, you don't, John Milan and his wife Ellie thought this was the perfect painting. In all of his years, they said, this is as good as I'll ever get. And I got, they're getting all three if they say yes to 2200 Sometimes people can't take yes for an answer. Juliet, they should take yes for an answer. You didn't with Romeo. Romeo said, put the gun down. Mm -hmm. Romeo said, put the gun down. And you wouldn't just say yes. This is 2777. 2777. This is what Barry told me. Yeah, you're getting all three pieces. I can't do this. All right. Matt, I'm going to give this one minute because I actually don't want him to take it, and that's too, that's such a good deal. I can't even explain that. You're getting the John Milan original, this huge original that hung in his house. You are getting rain right here. It's got it has a creek. You're getting reality. Reality. Yes, where reality hits tranquility and rain, like a rain, rain of terror, Wilson, or rain of goodness. Okay. For Call in. Brighten up your home. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm actually hoping they don't say yes in 20 seconds. Yeah. Because this, I went way too cheap. You excited for that phone to No, I can explain a lot of things. This I can't. I really can. I'm taking it. I'm going to get myself in too much trouble. But if somebody wants it, give Ashley a call. Five, four. I'm going to gently hand you these. Thank you for your rain. Three, two, one. Call Ashley if you're interested. And I am going to put this back right over here. Okay. Hmm. What are you going to next? Betty Boop? Uh, yeah, or uh, I could show you the Zacks, the Marquette. Yeah, let me just show this real fast. Yeah, we only have 21 minutes till Dish joins us. Oh, Wilson, what are you doing for Christmas? Really? Again? Well, that's very kind of them. He's going to the mission. It's pretty good dinner, right? Do you have to wait in line? Yeah. But you don't mind. It's a free turkey dinner. No, Wilson's got a family. You got a family, right? Okay. And Wilson, I, I'm not picking in on you at all. I just want to make sure, is this a real family or an imaginary family? A real one? Okay. This 
Uh, this was done by Zax. Zax is a modern pop artist. And I sold the number one to the edition of the Mona Lisa and uh, a unique one of a kind mixed media done in 2022. This happens to be the Marquette, the original piece that Zach's did that he decided this is what I want to do an edition of. And he did an edition of 200 or 50 or something. And we sold the number one and I think the number 50 and then there are a couple numbers. This was the Marquette, the original original that he decided I'm going to make an edition out of this. What's the name of that auction house? In Julian's. Julian's, yes. How do you remember that so easy? Okay, because for me to remember it, I got to think of Lennon and his son Julian, and then I had Auction House. All right, this is priceless. This is thirty-five, forty thousand dollars. That is the market. But I wanna, I want everybody to have some fun here. Yeah, Ashley, what would you price this at? I would price this at the Marquette. The Marquette. And they kill me. It's trying to push me over the edge, Wilson. You know. Keystone Communications used to be on the 14th floor, and I could go up to the roof on this tall building here. Now that's locked. So Ashley, you're going to have to break the lock to let me jump off the building. Uh, all right, I'm going to do what Ashley says. Ashley says, it's like a game. Simon sells. Ashley says, that's too cheap, Ashley. Start at $1,000 to open $200 increments. The Marquette to the Mona Lisa, done by Zax. She's looking right at us? Who's Louie? Oh, Louie. It looks like the dog is staring right at the Mona Lisa. That is the Marquette. That was the original that he did. And he said, because of this piece, I'm going to do an addition. One of his pieces sold at Julian's auction house for 10500 And to get the Marquette to his entire edition, right here, looking for 1000 to open. Okay. No takers yet. I am going to put this back. Tell you what, to make it easier to put back. I'm going to bring up my Sasha Basari. Hokey dokey. Okey -dokey. <laughs> Here you go. Sasha Basari is gentle surrealism. Sasha Basari lives in St. Petersburg, Russia. About 12 years ago, well, 2014, 2012, 
11 years ago I went there and visited him. Sasha Basari is an amazing artist. He can do things with a paintbrush. It is the most unbelievable thing ever. You look at that little dog. You look at that boy's eyes. Right there, Wilson. Go back up a couple inches. Stop. Just stare in that boy's eyes. He knows you. You know him. It is the most uncanny deal you could ever imagine. He's a master graduate of the St. Petersburg Academy of Art. And he cares a ton. And I've always been amazed by it uh, about dogs and cats. And what Sasha Basari does, let me, don't want to lose a gold coin there, is he taught to the Hermitage. Some would say one of the greatest art museums in the world. And they all know how important his work is. And they let him use the roof of the Hermitage to sell works by himself and several other artists to raise money for the stray cats and dogs of the Hermitage. It's an amazing museum. Here's me with Sasha. First time I met him. And see that's black hair. Look at that. That's when I dyed my hair. Doesn't that look better than gray? What? You like gray better. What do you say, Ashley? That's me when I dyed my hair. In gray hair. Ay, 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 ay. What, what do you want? You want black hair back? Uh, uh, you know, I'm just happy to be alive. But if I had a choice, yeah, I'd like some black hair back. Uh, here was a gallery, uh, a couple of them. Here is Satachi Online 2011. Uh, 12 years ago, 15,000. He's telling you a story. This painting will talk to you. Just look at it and listen to it. It will talk to you. What, uh, whew. I lowered these. What did I lower this to? Because this is unbelievable. That look at the clouds. He nailed this piece. No. Well, that's an original, one of a kind original. Signed Sasha Basari. I can't believe it. We're gonna say this one thousand four hundred and ninety-five dollars. All the way from St. Petersburg, Russia. And it can be yours. That's too cheap. I'm virtually out of Sasha's work. And I hope you see the beauty in it because Sasha Basari is so very important. You know, there are so many very wealthy people in Moscow and St. Petersburg now, and he is gentle surrealism. Mr. M says gray is much better. Mr. M says gray is much better. Can you ask? Can you ask Mr. M what color is his hair? Just curious. What did he say? Oh, okay. 
Well, I am going to put the Vasari back. Can you hand me one of those Azulees? And I don't even remember how I had this, but I will figure it out. I know what I did. All right. Mr. M is gray and his wife is blonde. Uh-oh, Ashley, you don't think that was a hint? That I should take this opportunity to become a blonde? <laughs> okay. Now, this is a printer's proof. This is the year of the dragon. This is silver leaf. This was done in, was it 2011? What, what's, what, what's the year of the dragon, Ashley? That is silver gold leaf. Oh, these are sold out rare. Guillaume Ajule paints horses. He is the youngest living artist ever be accepted in the permanent archival collection of the Louvre. He was born in Casablanca, Morocco. Year of the Dragon is next year, is 2012? 2012. 2000. 2000 and 2012. He did this one in 2012. And he used gold leaf, copper leaf, and silver leaf. All of them are sold out rare, but this silver leaf on black paper, the deluxe edition, are so hard to get. And it's both a silk screen, then Guillaume Agelet himself hand lays the silver leaf. It is stunning. And what, can you come in a little closer there because it says, Publisher's proof, is that what it says, or printer's proof? Printer's proof, number three of ten, printer's proof, uh, Dragon Dior, 2012 or 13 there. Oh, this is unbelievable. Uh, the last copy I saw in Print World Guide, and I haven't... Look, because I think the lady that put it out died, Wilson. You didn't have anything to do with that, did you? No? So that only leaves one person left. Juliet. The lady that used to put out uh, Print World Guide died. Wilson didn't have anything to do with that. She was pretty healthy, too. Her name was Selma Smith. Turns out she lived, she used to live pretty close to you. Oh, don't give me that babe in the woods routine. Look at that, Patty. She's so guilty. All right, I'll tell you what. Uh, retail. Uh, I think uh, last print roll guy was 9,500 or more. And this is a rare silver leaf. Yeah, list 9,500. Yeah, this is probably fifteen or eighteen thousand now, but I'm going to go with the last print world guide of ninety five hundred. But I think it's way over that. Um, I'll tell you what. Knock yourself out, folks, because this is as rare as it gets. Guillaume Agile, born in Casablanca, self-taught. Uh, Youngest living artist to ever be accepted and then to the Bibliothèque Nationale, the permanent archival collection of the Louvre. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Start at zero, $250 increments. 
I believe this is a fifteen or eighteen thousand dollar Azule. This is as good of an Azule because Guillaume Azule paints horses, but he said, but a Harley Davidson, a motorcycle, could be a horse too. Five hundred uh, has been. Oh, five minutes. Okay, so we're still at zero. Five minutes still dish, but I don't need dish for this because this. Look at that dragon roaring. This is an Azule. The youngest living artist to ever be accepted into the Louvre. I have a letter right here to Guillaume Azule from Ronald Reagan. We have 250, thank you. Here and this is an old copy, but look at all those collectors. Ronald Reagan, late President of the United States, King of Morocco, Queen of Morocco, Nelson Rockefeller. Look at all of those collectors. The curator of the Louvre. All of these collectors. And to get a deluxe edition, you know, and I want to show you a couple more. He was fascinated with Jimi Hendrix's face, not just because it had so many twists to it, basically, is what he's thinking. Here's an original drawing. The first was up for 75000 sold for 45000 by Guillaume Azule, or was listed for 45000 Here is a letter from the Louvre. Chief Curator of the Louvre, thanking him for uh, the, his acceptance for Camargue and Andine into the permanent archival collection of the Louvre. Here is one of his etchings on paper. Look at that, $12,500. Here is Scott Hamilton, gold medalist. You made me a fan. 500, 500 has been bid. Hope to see you soon. Kentucky Derby Festival poster. Unveiled, it was Guillaume Azule. I when it says Master Class of the Louvre, I think that's a Reuben they're painting, but I'm not sure. Could have been an Azule, because nine, seven or nine pieces are in the permanent archival collection of the Louvre. Oh, here's a letter from Ronald Reagan. To Guillaume Azule. Hang on. Talking about a piece called 750. Look at this. On White House stationery. November 9th, 1981. Reagan won in January of 1981, he took office. He won November of 1980, was sworn in in January, and he wrote Guillaume Angelet a letter. Encounters is a most welcome uh, addition to my art collection. With sincere appreciation and warmth, best sincerely, Ronald Reagan. Hey, Barry, I have your firm Colin from Texas. Hi, Colin. Oh, Colin, I hope you're having a pleasant time. Better yet, your wife having a pleasant time at the airport. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for watching me, Colin. He went to Denton, Texas. He went to school with me. I started my, my master's degree. 25000 U.S. dollars on a silk screen by Guillaume Agile. All right, well, all right, we are verifying. We are... Mike and Cleo. 
Michael and Cleo. Now, is Cleo the one that drives around crazy, bidding on me? No. No, okay. Who is that? Miss E, okay. Sorry for the mix up. We're at 750. This is such an important piece. $750. Going once. Oh, this is too cheap. Ronald Reagan wrote Guillaume Agelet back. That's amazing. $750. Going twice. All in. All said. Are we down to one? Sold. Congratulations. I think I have one other Azule right. Hi, folks. Am I on dish now? Hi, Dish Network. Barry Chapel coming to you live. Hollywood, California, home of Prime Time Shopping Network. Oh, I got some cool art for you tonight. And and I want to thank Colin for calling me from the airport. That can't be fun being at the airport right now, is it? Uh, he's waiting for his wife. And could you ask him, without getting me in trouble, did Colin get his wife off the terror list? I'm joking. Colin, I'm just joking. I'm just joking, Ace. All right, now this is a Guillaume Agile right here. They put the bribe in, he's, he's free now. His wife is allowed to fly. Patty? How that revolver got in her case, I don't know. And I didn't know you could fit an M15 on a carry-on, but she's all right. Thank, have a, I'm talking to a friend of mine. This is one of ten, publisher's proof. It takes two with copper leaf. BC 2859. Now, folks... This is a tough piece. This edition was sold out rare. It came in gold leaf, silver leaf, and copper leaf. They all sold out. I introduced this on my show uh, a while ago. Yeah, this was done in 2017. Guillaume came on my show at my old network. I believe when I release this. That is copper foil. Guillaume Agile is the youngest living artist to ever be accepted into the permanent archival collection of the Louvre. And that is a serigraph and he has hand laid copper leaf. It is stunning and it is artist proof. It is number one of only ten done. Twelve thousand five hundred is the list on this. And tell Colin I have a great time. I'm going to come visit him in Denton here. Okay. So here's what I got, folks. I don't know where to start this. Look at that. Sold out on the first showing. Yeah. Well, it sometimes takes more than two. Yeah. Wilson. How many people did it take for you at rehab? It took more than two people. It took eight or nine just to carry you in there. You were like the raging bull when they threw you in there, Wilson. No, oh, but it's all right. No, Wilson didn't go through rehab much. No, he didn't. All right, uh, folks, I'll tell you what. This is a very expensive piece. It's uh, number one. And he uh, signed it, Guillaume Agile, did everything. 
Now, this is an expensive piece. Start at zero, $250 increments. And then I got Huey, Louie, and Dewey coming up. Look at that copper leaf. And Guillaume said that was harder than the gold leaf, the copper leaf. You got to be so precise when you lay that copper leaf. Got a big show. Y'all, you, you guys all have Christmas plans. You got Christmas plans? I don't have any. I'm like Richard Geard, an officer and a gentleman. I have no place to go. Do not DOR me. I have nowhere to go. I do have a dog that likes me. But then again, it's hard for a dog as spoiled as Ginger. Not, she's not spoiled. She's just very scared. No open on It Takes Two. Number one. This is number one of ten. Oh, my goodness. Zero. Going once. It's the hardest. He said it is harder than gold leaf, harder than silver. It is so delicate. Nobody's bidding, Ashley. Not yet. And we're on dish. And you didn't like unplug the internet when we went on dish, did you? No. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, zero going once. Zero. Guillaume Ashley, self-taught, born in cost. We have the open. $250 has been bid. No, it's taking time, Matt, for my signal to get up to the satellite, beam back down, and get to their TV. Then they got a call. You ever watch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Wilson? You see what happened to Mike TV when he decided he wanted to be like a Wonka bar? and be transported. They just gave, handed them off to an Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa Oompa Dee Doo. All right, I am at <coughs> 250. Three people, yeah, on a $12,500 number one of the Copper Leaf Edition. Number one. Got letters from Ronald Reagan, Nelson Rockefeller, the Baron Robert de Rothschild as a collector. Two hundred and fifty. Who's going to make it? Five hundred, seven fifty, a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Going twice. Perfect. What do they say, Ashley? Five hundred has been bid. They're they're watching on the web. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Thank you. Does the internet, could you ask them, Ashley, does the internet make me look fat? <laughs> yeah, $750. Because recently I have more people come up to me and go, Barry, you're as skinny as a rail. But then they say, when we see you on TV, you look pudgy. Downright fat. Uh. I'm at 750 on a rare of the rare, number one of only 10. Thank you. 
going once, seven fifty. Going twice, that is so cheap. Fair. And final warning. All in. All said. Sold. Say, oh, let me see. Oh, that's Mrs. C's new dog. Eight weeks old. What, Phoebe? Yeah. What type of dog is it? I'll ask you right now. There was a stray dog running around the dog park where I take Ginger to walk. And a friend of mine tried to capture it and didn't want to go anywhere. He wasn't in any pain. It was a little muddy, but that's because it's been raining. But he belonged to somebody. And so we keep trying to catch it. Ginger was chasing them up and down the fence. They were playing together. Yeah. Oh, you talk about doggies. <laughs> Take a look at this, folks. Wilson, this is so important. This right here, those are wood sculptures done by Pam Foster. Pam Foss, yes, Pam Foss. Now, look at the eyes of this dog, Wilson. Look at those eyes. Look at that. And this is uh, this is some kind of French poodle. It's a Sky Terrier. Sky Terrier. Sky Terrier knows it's a fancy dog, though. Yeah, look at that. Look at the nose. Now this right over here, Boston Terrier. Yeah. How do you know it's really from Boston? I mean, what if he came over from, you know, uh, what's another city next to New York, but Philly? I mean, next to Boston. How do you know? They could have been an accident at the vet where the Boston Terrier got mixed up with the New York Terrier. Now, these are stunning. Here is a comp on one of Pam Foss busts. This is resale, $7,500. Yeah. So I have these three sculptures. Which one should we start with? I'm going to trust Juliet on this one. Very good. Mr. S says the camera always makes you look heavier. Camera always. That's, <laughs> apparently that's been my problem all through life. <laughs> Even on days I'm not on. Which one should we start with? Because I am going to. It's a Boston Terrier because it's the Boston accent and he barks. M Mark? Boston accent and he barks. Roof, roof, roof. roof. All right, well, I got great deals for you folks. And just to show you, there's where Pam Foss signed it, artist proof. And I believe that says 06. And this, look at that terrier. You can hang it on your wall. Look at that. Are you talking 9,500 or, I'm sorry, what was it? 7,500, but that was a while ago. And this is BC 2856. Which one do they want me to start with? I only have one of each. These are really hard to come by. Which one would you start with? Call Patty, Ashley, or Juliet and say, I want to start with this one. I like the Cocker Spaniel. Look at that, Wilson. Look at those eyes. 
signed and dated by Pam Foss. Which one? Because I'm going to give you guys deals. These are 7,500, 8,500, 9,000. They're sold out rare editions. Tell you what I'm going to do. I got a price that people can't say no to. Oh, this is too cheap. I got $7,500 camp. And I got the foofy. The foofy, foofy. And I am going to bring the foofy dog over. Don't make a mess out of this chapel. Oh, they're not going to be able to see all three of them. All right, well, tell me which one, because I got a price for eight, nine thousand dollar Pam Foss. You're going to go, no way, Chapel. I'm going to make you. The white dog is a Pepion. Oh. Thank you, a Pepion. Pepion. What is uh, you looking at a picture? Let me see this picture. Picture of a Pepion. The white dog. Yes, you're right. A Pepion. Papillon. Well, uh, whoever buys the Papillon, whoever buys the Papillon must have a French accent. Uh, Mr. M says that he was a registered uh, race AKC registered dog for Yorkshire Terrier. Oh, he, he raised registered Yorkshire. He was a Yorkshire sure, Terrier breeder. Yeah. Oh my goodness! So. Tell you what, let's get going. Uh, Ashley, you pick the dog you want me to start with. Any, meeny, miny, mo, pick the dog. Which one? The what? Is that this? That's called a water spaniel? Look at those eyes. Give this dog a happy home. And this is 22 inches by, you got the eyes in there, and I just want to show you, it is signed by Pam Foss on the back, dated 06. It's an artist proof of this series. Oh, man. Tell you what. Oh, this is too cheap, too cheap. These are nine and ten thousand now. I'll tell you what. Watch this, Ashley. Seven hundred and fifty dollars to open. That is what? On any of them, yeah. But I want to. Yeah, seven hundred and fifty to open on any of them. Seven fifty to open. One hundred dollar increments after we get the open. Tell me which Pam Foss you want. I mean, these are 10 and 12, 8, 9, 10,000. That one comp we showed you, Patty wanted me to tell you, that's secondary market. That's for resale. I mean, that is. This is one of the most famous in this whole field. No open? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, my goodness. And this is a pug, right? This is a pug, right?
Boston Terrier. All right. Ashley, wor work me some deals. I mean, 750. Look at the back. Let me just show you all the hallmarkings by Pam Foss. I mean, this lady is famous. I mean, this, uh, she lives in North Carolina, or she used to. I mean, this is, look at that. She cuts the wood, she paints it, she does everything. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what. I want you guys to think about this, because these are amazing. All right. I'm going to put something up from Wilson's childhood, his favorite cartoon. Look at this. Michael Blatt. Hand signed fine art lithograph. Betty Boop the Voyage. Look at that. Now we're this is a lithograph that's also been embellished, Wilson. Look at Betty Boop's hair. Her hair has been turning gray, and then they did that to it. So you want to paint my hair now, Patty? Is that what I should do? All right. These are very expensive. This was done by Michael Blatt. I think he's might be painting for God. Now, who said this is Betty Boop on the Titanic? That was Ashley. I go, what's the name of this? She goes, Betty Boop on the Titanic. It's not on the Titanic. Uh, yeah, I know. They're seven, eight, nine thousand. These are seven and eight thousand dollars when Michael Platt would hand embellish the hair like he did. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm just curious because this is really cool. It's 39 by 30. I want you guys to fight out Betty Boop. I only have one. Start at zero. $250 increments. That is the Betty Boop. Don't stop crying, Wilson. I can't get you another one. All that time you spent in front of the TV growing up in the 40s watching Betty Boop. No, it couldn't have been a colored TV, Wilson. Not in the 40s. I hope everybody's having fun. This is, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm going to rush and take this down. This is crazy. All right. I'm going to move this one over. Here's what I'd like to do. I'm going to put, say what? Who? Oh, he's a German Shepherd. That's a beautiful dog, Miss C. That is a beautiful dog. Yeah. 
Yes. Ah, uh, Betty Boop. We have an open at 350. Look at those eyes. Those are birds on the boat. Look at that. You ever taken a cruise, Wilson? Why not? You scared? You don't want to take a cruise? No. Really? You get seasick? You're saying a cruise ship is a giant petri dish. Your whole life you felt this way. Huh. You take much in science. I mean, have you ever handled a real petri dish? Uh-huh. All right, we have 350. Looking for 600. This is so cheap. All right, you guys kidding me? 350? I'm going to be, Wilson's crying like Betty Boop here. She's got that cute look. When was Betty Boop famous, Wilson? All right, hang on. Let's find out. In what? 1930? Well, she's in... Damn good condition for someone that started in 1930. Well, Mr. M. Say that, Mr. M. 600, thank you. Now, does Mr. M know this from personal experience? I, I, I want to make sure I, I cannot be smirch, Betty Boo. Oh, uh, this is, we should play Sea Cruise for Wilson. Play Sea Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> we are at 600, looking for 850. $600. Going once, going twice. Fair and final warning, all in, all said, sold, thank you. Now, this ray here is an Olympic piece. It comes with a Park West cert. This is BC 2864. This is um, guaranteed Alfred, Alfred, Alfred Gockel, the USOC Olympic Celebration poster in 2005, and the Artist Proof Edition of 50. Look at this. This is Alfred Gockel, and he's a pretty expensive. So you got a lithograph that he has hand embellished here, which, look at that, USA, the celebration signed by Alfred Gockel. I mean, Park West and Wilson, look at this, just so you know. When you get a Park West cert and you're buying a Park West boat, which you wouldn't know about because you don't take cruises because you think it's a big petri dish. 
Um, you know, you're talking seven, eight thousand, five or six thousand. I don't know, but to have uh, a lithograph that's been hand embellished, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, this is too cheap. This is too cheap. I'm sure I'm Park West. My goodness, they were getting five, six, eight thousand. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though. Oh, this is too cheap. Four hundred dollars to open. Two hundred dollar increments once we get the open. That is U.S. Olympic celebration. That's a lithograph that was hand embellished. It's a great size too. Look at that. A lithograph that, that, that Gockel then hand embellished. All right. I am going, look at that, look at, look at Miss Liberty, the way Alfred Gockel painted her. Look at, look at her eyes, Wilson. And underneath it, you can see the pastel, the black pastel he put on the piece. Also have... David Lloyd Glover's two that got canceled after we sold them, and I will show those in a second. But I'll tell you what, I am going to do right now. I'm going to sell one of the Pam Fosses. All right. Oops. Be careful, Chapel. Now, Pam Foss is internationally known for animal sculptures. These were done on wood. She hand paints them. She does amazing work. I mean, I have a comp on first dibs for 7500 for one of her works of a horse. I don't like that horse. You know why, Patty? Why? It reminds me of The Godfather. That movie when the guy wakes up and is, never mind. But here's what I'm going to do. I got to make one of these go bye-bye. Ashley, I had these up so cheap, but I got a special price to open. Or I could just sell them to them. Tell me which one of these. You can hang them on the wall. You can just leave it as a sculpture. They are signed and dated by Pam Foss. I got a price in mind. I got a, a $7,500 comp. Call Ashley. Make me some offers. Mr. M, all the different people that have been coming on these, call me up, make me some offers. I'd like to keep the family close together. Hey, maybe you can sell it to three people that know each other. Or they can at least bring them over for play dates. You didn't get many play dates as a kid, did you, Wilson? No. I can, I, I know the feeling. Every now and then my mom would let me out of the basement. These are great size, signed on the back, Pam Foss, Artist Proof, 2006. Just call me up, make me some offers. I have three of these. I thought these would 
fly out of here when I got comps for 7,500 and more. Someone's going to want one. Should I sell them individually as a set? What should I do here? I got some got some gold coins. Get a leash. I should get a leash. I'll tell you what, and I'm going to give them a deal that the real Papillon, played by uh, Steve McQueen. All right, I am going to move this out of the way so you can see the Papillon. I'm lowering this down for him. I am bringing the Papillon right up here. Oh, that's so cute. You good boy or girl. All right, hang on. I'm walking over there because I got a price so cheap. If I faint, I'm feeling a little woozy at this price. Is that a deal? <coughs> that is stunning. Okay, it's sold. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Does he have a name for the Papillon? Okay. What if I do for two? Can I get a... Yes, you can get a deal. But what is he going to name the Papillon? <laughs> What's that? In the back. It's the one in the back. No, I can't give you another piece of nicotine gum. It's very addictive. Hang on, I'm going to work him another deal on the Boston Terrier. Look at this Boston Terrier. Yes, and those he's getting a deal of a lifetime. I tell him Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa Day. What's the deal on Seinfeld with a stick? Festivus. No. Still left. And I hope somebody's out there. We got a Boston Terrier and uh, a Mutt. So we got a Boston Terrier and a Mutt. What is the exact breed of the Mutt? Water Spaniel. I think you just made that up, Ashley. You want me to take Wilson's word for it? I think you just made it up. How do you know it's a water spaniel? It could be a blow dry spaniel. <laughs> yes. I had to dry Ginger off with a towel today. She loves that too. Yeah, we're going to get it out as fast as we can. We're up against Christmas. Okay. 
one is gone. These are Pam Foss, internationally known sculpture, make sculptures. These are made out of wood. She cuts the wood, she carves the wood, she paints them. And we got this incredible Boston Terrier. Look at that. Artist Proof 2006, Pam Foss. I got a $7,500 comp. And then we have this mutt. Nobody likes this mutt. This is a mud. Don't be giving me this. You're telling me this is a water terrier? Water spaniel? It's a mud. No, it's not a mud. I'm just having fun. Hey, I have a I have a hound dog that howls at everybody. And then the minute they start barking or chasing her, she runs like there's no tomorrow. Which one? I only have two left. Which one are there? Uh, Patty, work a deal. Yes. Oh, I got some. Oh, I got some interesting stuff. Two left. Got a couple people online. These are Pam Foss. She's internationally famous. She lives in, or used to, in North Carolina. Name the water spaniel Woody and he will float is what one of their customers just said to us. Which one do they want? What? No, I don't sing how much is a doggy in the window, but I want you guys to think about that. I want to show you something else because. I have two Glovers. I also have, got to be very careful with these. These, I have some gold coins. These are from the Royal British Mint. Different years, Wilson. I am going to use one of these. Stay. If you are interested in quarter ounce, 24 carat, different year bullion coins from the British Royal Mint, I have four of them. Call Ashley. She has all the details. I am such a big believer in gold and uh, that's a good size to have, too, a quarter ounce gold coin. I have four of them. And then 2819. Then I know what I'm going to do.
call Ashley. She has all the details. These are the Royal British Mint Bullion, 24 karat pure gold coins. And they have all kinds of different signals and symbols on them. Not drum symbols, but British monarch stuff. You know what I like about the British, Wilson? We beat them in the Revolutionary War, and they didn't hold a grudge. You know, we can go over there. They're not going, you know. Okay, here's what I am going to do. Actually, I'm going to give you these coins back. And then... Here... <laughs> in the window. Oh, there's two and there's another pouch somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now, nobody likes the Boston Terrier or the waterlogged terrier. What do you call it? Water Spaniel. All right. Well, that's okay. Michael and Cleo. Michael and Cleo. Hi. Hi. Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yes. And here's what I am going to do. I have a couple glovers left that got canceled after we sold them. But here. Don't put up a retail on this, Matt. Because I'm I'm living on the edge here. Yes. Once again, I am going to quote Bill Murray on this. We were talking about before we were on TV our favorite movies. There we go. Is that centered or should it move? Is that centered okay? Oh, it looks, it looks yeah, yeah, like it's Do what? Like it's Look at the dog. Of course, the dog's Alright. I just thought one of the greatest movies ever made was Blade Runner. And then... Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah. You don't like Revenge of the Nerds, Julia? No? I think Blade Runner was... Oh, those moments. Lost in time. Like tears in rain. Time to die. He was a robot. Didn't want to die. Once he found out he was a robot, went on a little bit of a crime spree, Wilson. All right, now, I am curious. This, to me, been doing this on TV for 33, I'm in my 33rd year. This is John Milan. John Milan founded and runs the Milan Art Institute. He and his wife Ellie teach art, teach painting. They have a major graduation ceremony in different cities. This year it was in Miami. Some of the past graduates show up. I mean, these are very important artists. This is an original that John Milan painted. His wife Ellie thought it was so good, they hung it in their house. It was in their house for four or five years, and when I started working with John Milan, I said, John, I need your best. He took this off his fireplace and sent it here. This is priceless. I have a retail of 35000 I think that is cheap. He is the art deed. 
This guy teaches art. He teaches everything about art. He has forgotten more about art than I ever knew. This is a monster of a great deal. Now I've had this up, don't put up a price because retail is at least 35,000. I've had it up there at four and 5,000, but here's what I'm gonna do. I hope you're out there because this painting should go on my show. I know Christmas is coming up, but here's what I am gonna do. I think this should go for 20 grand or 10, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start at zero, $500 increments on, on a monster of a painting. I'm starting at zero, $500 increments. This tonight should go for 5,500 or 6,500. We sell Peter Max Umbrella Man for 7,500. That's a great piece, but this is a one of a kind original painted by John Milan. Starting at zero, $500 increments. Let's see where it stops. And yes, I have two Pam Foss left and one Diet Mountain Dew that is now open. Yeah, Matt, this is item number 2765. We have the open, we have 500. This should go on a Christmas week like we're at, a guy this talented, a guy this valuable, did you ever wonder what it would be like to get a Vincent Van Gogh early on? Did you ever wonder? You know, my mom met and collected Robert Motherwell. You know, she was smart. I go, you gotta be kidding me. I can't even make out what it is. She goes, you're not supposed to, dummy. And I said, Mom, don't call me dummy. She says, no, 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 stop with that joke. Stop. Um, anyway, I'm at 500. I can't buy this. Nobody can buy this. This is, at his show, $35,000 is what John Milan had it at the Miami show for. I'm at 500. We're at 500, looking for 1,000. Folks, you're killing me tonight. This is one of the most valuable paintings I've had. Picked the wrong night to quit meth. I'm joking, it's like that airplane movie. $500 going once. Thousand, thank you. Yeah. We're at a thousand. Folks, I can't buy this. Nobody can buy this. This is John Milan, the founder of the Milan Art Institute in, uh, uh, in Florida. And uh, he is unbelievable. Thousand, looking for 1,500. 1,500, thank you. Oh, folks, we are at 1,500. I'm at 1,500. Oh, Wilson, do I go to eight or nine? I go to nine, right, Patty? Five to nine, right? Six to nine? So that means I got to stay on this painting for an hour and six minutes? Folks, give me a break. Help me out here. This is a John Milan, very famous artist. He started an art college, 
and he has some of the most famous graduates. This is a painting that he and his wife thought nailed it so well they hung it in their house. This is something they were offered in the $30,000 range. I said, John, I'll be showing you your work. Send me some of your best. He took this off his wall thinking he's going to get 10, 20, 25,000. I'm at $1,500 going once. You're killing me. Fifteen hundred Wilson, they're trying to kill me. In the words of the late Marty Weiss, surrounded by assassins. Fifteen hundred. Right, tell your friends whoever gets this, because this is so very, very cheap. This was what set him down the road with the illumination series that he did. I have mono prints he do and they're 3500 each. This is a that's both oil and acrylic as a one of a kind original. This hurts 1500 going once. Fifteen hundred going twice. Ugh. I dug my I dug my own grave here. I did. I I strung out my what's that? You got a new register? I got you. Everybody happy. Going once. What's that? No, there was a yes. What what it is? Uh, someone's asking me. He didn't sign it with blood. What they did was they took a little bit of his blood and mixed it in the ink where he signed his name. So he had a DNA marker. Where if anybody said that Thomas Kincaid is not really him. They can take that little piece of his signature and prove it was him. Yeah. Everybody happy at 1500 Once. Twice. Fair. And final warning. All in. All said. Anybody else on your end? This is so cheap. Uh, I'm sorry. Sold. Whew. Okay. Hmm. What's that? Yes. <laughs> there you go. You can move it now. <laughs> All right. Nobody wants to give this pug a good home. Yeah, I got the orange flowers. And I have those other two David Lloyd Glovers that they canceled on. Look at this right here. This is BC 2849. Look at that. Now what I'm going to do is I'll try. Yeah, we can bring those, sure. Take a look at this. This is David Lloyd Glover. Stunning. He was a guest on my show last week. And he's always, you know, he was started with Art Brilliance. Been painting his whole life had gallery shows around the world. This right here is called Orange Flowers, list 21,000. Um, I'll tell you what I can do. Well, I also want to show one other. Let's see. 
maybe. Tell you what, uh, Ashley, where would you start this? What's in the computer on this piece right here? Orange flowers. Nobody wants this doggy. Tell you what I'm going to do for you guys. Almost every David Lloyd Glover we've ever sold is four to five thousand. But we got a holiday coming up. I'll tell you what. You want a deal of a lifetime? Comes with a David Lloyd Glover cert right here. This was painted in 1998 orange flowers acrylic on canvas and i'll show you the cert right here signed by david lloyd glover one of the most successful artists for art brilliance as well as a lot of other galleries here's what i am going to do oh this is too cheap we sold many of his paintings with him here for 4000 each. Many went for more. Tell you what I'm going to do on this. Because I'm running out of time. Ashley, this is too cheap. 1500 to open. That is such a deal. If you ever wanted a David Lloyd Glover, Fifteen hundred to open, two hundred dollar increments. Look at that. Any interest? Last week, a new reg registration called up and bought this piece. I wish I could show it to you. It's, it's being boxed up, but then he, he changed his mind, which does happen. What was the name of this uh, path of... Uh, oh, eh. Matt, do you remember the name of this David Love? A uh, path for... Yeah, we're going to, it's getting boxed, it got boxed up, that's why I don't have it back. Uh, what's that? A flower path for your love. We're going to put the graphics up for that. Yeah. Stay. This was one of the most stunning paintings. We had this up. Uh, it sold for four or forty-five hundred, something like that. Call me up. Uh, the, the original customer that bought it changed his mind. It's all boxed up, and uh, so call me on this. I will work you amazing deals on a flower path for your love. And don't fall, paper. Stay. Good, stay. I have one other David Lloyd Glover. Ashley even printed the picture. Trying to remember what the other one was. Oh, that means it's got to be right here. Ha! Ah. Caesar. Here was the other one we sold. This one David was getting upset with because this is a piece he could have gotten at a gallery somewhere in the $35,000 price range and it brought it here what's the name of this one 
garden what? Garden statue. Twenty eight twenty five. Twenty eight forty five. All right. Folks, if you want to, there it's boxed up, ready to ship. Call me. I will work you an incredible deal on these pieces. Look at that. Those are thirty and forty thousand dollar pieces. Uh, I got a price in mind. Oh, it's it's cheap. They're boxed up, ready to be shipped. Patty, I'm gonna tell you the price. I'm gonna tell, tell, me, tell me, Patty and Julia. I'm not gonna put it on the screen. Okay. And they, they will be deals upon deals. Now. I'm like, I like that terrier. Uh, the water, what do they call it? A water spaniel? He's just looking at me. Can, can you go to the water spaniel? spaniel? What? Oh, spaniel? Isn't it a water spaniel? What? Springer spaniel. Who says that? Okay. Can you come in on the Springer spaniel? <laughs> the Springer spaniel. That was owned by Jerry Springer. <laughs> All right, now look at his eyes. He's going, one of my chopped liver. I was designed, painted, cut, sanded down by Pam Foss. I was done in 2006. Look at the eyes, every part of those eyes. She won awards for the way she could make a sculpture out of wood. It's signed on the back, Pam Foss, 2006, art, Artist Proof. And the one on the other side is a Boston Terrier. Look at that. The, the other one is B.C. The Boston Terrier is BC 2858. Call me up, folks. I have a comp right here for 7500 on first dibs, meaning he got resold for 7500 Liz Price, 7500 That is a resell price. I think retail might be even higher, but... Liz Price, seventy five hundred. Call me up. I'm gonna make you guys a deal. I got a number in mind, Ashley. What should I do? Which one do you think is the prettiest, Wilson? I know all dogs are pretty. I know that's unfair. I'm just asking, Wilson, which one do you like best? Springer Spaniel. The black and white one. Look at those eyes. Look at that. And I want to show you, this is so important. When you turn this around, right there, Pam Foss. Right there, Artist Proof 06. She did everything. And I have comps for 7,500 
and more. I have a very special price right now. All you got to do is call me. I want to sell both these pieces, especially the Springer Spaniel. Look at this. Look at those eyes, Wilson. I mean, that's just amazing. Call me up. I got a special price. You're not going to believe it. I know we had these up at $750 to open. Call me. I got a price right now. I hate to uh, split up the family. That Boston uh, is thinking about springing on the Springer Spaniel. Oh, look at those. Folks, you are getting Pam Foss. This is like the first lady of animal sculptures. She has been, she is, you know, you would, you would not believe all the celebrities that have had the commissioned pieces. Any interest? All right, I'm running out of time. No open once, no interest. I got a very special price. All right, Patty, give me a pen and some paper. I'm going to write down a price. There. All right. Now, two things about this price, Patty. At this price, they will both sell. But... Wilson, at this price, if they don't, you ever watch Mission Impossible? I bet I have. You got to eat the paper. <laughs> paper has a lot of good fiber. I'm even going to give such a good shipping price. Oh. Oh. I'm going to lose money on this. Now, Patty, doing this 33 years, at this price, this is the Pam Foss. I did an awful job explaining how one of the most famous animal sculpture people, artists on the planet, celebrities pay 12, 14, 15,000 to commission to have her do their dogs. And that, look at that. Wow is right. It's crazy. But I'm only going to give it a couple minutes. Then I'm going to move on to some Basari. I got a couple other pieces here. Might have one more Schofield. I think that's a Schofield. I got to double check. Any interest? Look at that, my face is right next to the Boston. Doggy. Is it true that they say, you know, you start looking at your dog or your dog starts looking at the owner? That's what I that's what I <laughs> All right. This is my doggy. This used to be the scaredest dog you ever saw. This is my rescued. That is a hound dog. The official breed is black and tan, coon hound dog. I named her Ginger. She was a rescue. I kind of got her from an awful establishment. She was the scaredest dog. It took me 
That is a dog park where I take her three or four times a day. It's about a mile and a half from my house. Two years ago, it took me six months to even get her in the dog park. I would unleash her leash and she'd be running houses away, but now she is, I think she likes me. Well, yeah, well, she, she's a hound dog, too. She howls. What? Oh, look at this. Just to give you an idea, look, here's first dibs. There's first dibs, 7,500 on a sculpture. So tell me, anybody calling on these two? Yes. For the Boston Terry. I'm walking. Slowly. You ever been bit by a dog? Did you want to be bit by the dog? Okay. Uh. Which one does Bob like? Does he like the terrier? Yeah. All right. Bob, you got to get the terrier. <laughs> and you know what else? This 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 Boston terrier likes clam chowder. I have no idea. <laughs> Give him the axe. Yeah, I, I uh, Bob, this is a cool one. And look at that. She signed it, dated it. Artist proof, 2006. Yeah, folks, please give me a call. I only got about 50, I got about 35 minutes left. And any interest? I know, you're feeling lonely. I'm going to take you back over here, put you up over here. He's Let me know if Bob takes this, Ashley. We might be selling the Boston. And I'm going to put the other one back here. Now. They're right there. Okay. I have one last patty. That's a Michael Schofield right around on the other side of Wilson. Yeah, that's the last one. We sold a mate to it. Michael Schofield 
is retired. He does not paint anymore. I'm going to hand you that. Done in 2021. This is a seascape. That's the only other Michael Schofield I own. I own some abstract ones, but this. And I thank all of you. I wish all of you a Merry Christmas. I have a couple really cool Sasha Basaris. I have uh, look at this. This is Michael Schofield. This is BC seven two seven four eight. Oh, she's real famous too, Bob. I mean, she's like, Pam Foss is such an innovator. All right, that is the last Michael Schofield I own on this planet. Retired, quit painting. There it is. Stunning. Ashley, you're two for two. On my very last Schofield, where would you open this one at? Seven hundred to open. That is a seascape. This is. The absolute last Michael Schofield. Uh, he is retired. He gave away or stopped. Uh, he moved out of his studio where he paints. And that is it. The last Michael Schofield. That sky is just haunting in a good way. If you want any of the Canadian, if you want any of the Royal British Mint gold coins, call Ashley. Look at that. He is in the billion, with a B, the billion dollar Arm and Hammer collection. He is in the Smithsonian collection. He is in the Library of Congress collection. Michael Schofield is one of the most incredible landscape and seascape artists of all time. And this is just stunning. 700 to open, $100 increments once we get the open. All right. That's a beautiful Boston Terrier. Is it sold, Ashley? No, the Boston Ter Boston Terrier sold. Good, because after I'm gonna give you about a minute and a half, two minutes, Ashley. Then I gotta let you I gotta let you mic up for about two minutes. You know why I gotta let Ashley mic up in two minutes? Not counting the three or four on my drive over here. And not only is that Diet Mountain Dew, this is nicotine gum. Put them together, Wilson, you got Nicodew. So, Nicodew. That's going to make a billion dollars. Nicodew. So, folks, I, I want to thank you. We still got quite a few more pieces coming up here tonight. The Boston Terrier is sold. 
So all I have left is a Springer Spaniel. Right there, look at that. And I have done an awful job explaining how famous Pam Foss, she lives in North Carolina. Some of the most famous people you can ever think of have sent Pam Foss pictures of their animal and she has made sculptures for them. I mean, and we're talking 10, 20, $30,000 a pop. I have lowered the price down on this Springer Spaniel. So cheap. I have a $7,500 comp right here, but just call. And I can't believe, and I'm going to move this over here. I got about half an hour left. 34 minutes left. So, Ashley, I'm going to hand you my mic because I got to go to the bathroom. I mean, that happens when you drink five Mountain Dews. Here comes Ashley. Talk about the Schofield. And we sold the Boston Terrier. Now we just have the Springer Spaniel. Springer Spaniel. Hello, everyone. Merry Christmas soon and a happy new year. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you were going to go to me, Wilson, but that's okay. All right, so we have Ocean's Exhale, which is one of my favorite ocean scenes by Schofield, which I was just texting with him today. He is retired, and he did shut his studio down. He told me that again tonight. Um, so these last Schofields, I think this is our last Schofield. We may have a couple abstracts if you guys are into abstracts. So um, we're opening this for $700 to open. Call me if you have want the open. We do have these, uh, the clown, the 3D art clowns that uh, that I just love. I love, but I am a chef, so. This was the 2862. I love when it's 3D art, don't you, Wilson? Cryonas, George Cryonas. The kitchen cooking series. This is like a chef and a sous chef cutting up their onions, getting ready to cook Thanksgiving dinner. And then look at the other one. The other one made a oopsie. There you'll see the Thanksgiving dinner on the ground. Oops, sorry. Oops, sorry, Wilson. Love that so much. So yeah, back to the Ocean's Exhale at seven hundred dollars to open. How many anybody in here remembers clown chefs? Yeah. Clown chefs. Clown chefs. Barry's got a he's got a deal in mind. Yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, of course, Barry, thank you. My pleasure. Nobody wants this one spring spaniel. So that leads me to one simple conclusion. Can you put the camera back on the Springer Spaniel? You know why nobody wants the Springer Spaniel? Jerry Springer. They watch so many of Jerry Springer's shows 
There you go. We take that as that was just a regular spaniel. No, anyway, that is seriously as much as I'm joking around. Uh, one of the most important ladies in uh, animal sculptures is a lady named Pam Foss. She lives in North Carolina and she has this un uncanny ability to really make your pet or whatever she paints come to life. You could hang this on a wall or you could just lay, uh, put it on a table or a desk. This is BC 2858. You know, I have a $7,500 comp and just call me. It's not going to be 7,500, 6,500, 55, 45, or 3,500. I got a really amazing deal. Give me a call. And that truly is the last Michael Schofield sea or landscape. I found it during uh, a, a slight break before I went to this. So there you go. I got a Springer Spaniel and a Schofield. I have one of the most amazing Sasha Basari's right here. It is one of the greatest gifts you're ever going to find from an artist. This one right here. Sasha Basari is a graduate of the St. Petersburg Academy of Fine Art. This is BC 2807. This piece will talk to you. You look into those, the eyes of that boy. You look into the eyes of the dog. That boy knows you. That dog knows you. It's the most amazing gift you're ever going to see. He is gentle surrealism. In 2011, I went to St. Petersburg, met with Sasha Basari, Misty Pavlov, Arena Valkova, and many other cutting edge Russian artists. He is one of the most amazing in the sense that I was in his studio looking at all the different art. It was like I was being screamed at by all the, the, the people inside the paintings. I mean, he has a gift second to none. Satachi Online has his work for 32,000. That is 32,000 U.S. I've known Sasha for well over a decade now, and then some, and I can give you an amazing price on this. It's stunning. If you don't love it, send it back. You won't, because you'll see the quality, and you'll see everything I was talking about. 1,000. Uh, 2011. Now I got through Scandinavia and in 2016, I didn't get to Russia, but I got through Germany and Prague and the Czech Republic. I had a bad habit there, Wilson, both in, especially at the Hermitage, because um, let's see, uh, Mitzi Pavlov could walk around that place. They just let him in. Uh, and I had my cameraman, Robert Jolly, one of the most expensive paintings in the Hermitage is called The Dance by Matisse. It's literally 18 feet by 10 or 11 feet. I touched that painting three times with my hand. And I was mad because the second time Jolly didn't get a good picture. 
So I touched it so hard the painting actually moved. And there's, there's guards around and everything. I just wait till they weren't looking. I uh, touched a Vincent Van Gogh three times. Uh, I, ta I touched uh, a Matisse, a Van Gogh. Oh, there was another really expensive one. I thought I was going to get in a lot of trouble. But I did it at the right time. There's a couple paintings at the Getty that I keep offering to take my daughter or my son to. They won't get in trouble. I'll touch it. All they got to do is take the picture. Yeah. But anyway, $1,495. If you don't love that Sasha Basari, call me. I'll gladly give you your money back. I believe when you buy this Basari, you're going to go, wow. It's, it's everything you said, Barry. I want to thank everyone. I have a couple other Basaris, but I'll tell you what. Why won't someone take this last dog, Wilson? Come on, the Springer Spaniel. I got to name this Springer Spaniel now. I was going to let whoever buy it name it. Uh, I'm coming up with a couple names. I don't know if you're going to agree with me. Sarah. I'm not sure it's a girl. Thank you, Mr. S. Thank you very much. All right. Sydney the Spaniel. Oriel. Oriel, that's a great name. Oriel the Spaniel. Oh, come on. Somebody's got to buy Oriel. This is a piece done by Pam Foss, one of the best known pet sculpturing people. And I got a price so cheap, you're not going to believe it. All you got to do is call. Let's see if I got anything else. Thank you for considering it. I got a big show coming up right in January. My, hey, you know what? You know whose art I'm going to be selling, Patty? My cowboy artist, Gregory Wilhelmy. Yeah, he's from Roundup, Montana. He's the second most famous person ever born in Butte, Montana. You know the first most famous person ever born in Butte, Montana was? El, uh, Evil Knievel. Robert Crane Knievel. I paid pay-per-view to watch him jump. Yeah. I believe him. I, that, that parachute shouldn't have come out when it did. But oh, yeah. evil can evil. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? Tell me what you'd like to see. <laughs> All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move the Basari around. All right. Stay, oh, but sorry, don't give me trouble. Stay. All right. Here. BC 2862. $200 to open, $100 increments. 
That is a, what do you call it, Wilson? Decompose. Decompose. I'm not going to tell that joke. No, don't do it, Chapel. Nah. Decompose. Uh, I think we have a clip or somewhere I did. 2700 unframed is what these sell for. You can have it for 200 to open for 200. If nobody else bids, you get it for 200. I have two of them. These are clown three dimensional art. This one, I'm a little upset because one of the chefs is smoking while he's cooking. There you go. So I want to thank you. I have one last go field. Nobody wants the Olympic piece. Oh, here. Let's have some fun. This is an important gockle. Now, before I show you the gockle, look at that cert from Park West Galleries. This is a lithograph that has also been hand embellished in pastel by Mr. Gockle. And here's what I am going to do. Park West had a $4,500 list on this piece. Park West Galleries, you get a cert from Park West Galleries. They had a $4,500 list price. I just showed you the cert from Morris Shapiro. Edition size of only 50 Proofs, here's what I'm going to do. 4500 is what Park West put the retail. Not Berry Chapel, Park West Galleries. 4500 Watch this, Patty. Start at zero. This was made for the 1985 U.S. Games. Uh... $100 increments, $200 to open, $100 increments after that. This was for the USA um, Alfred Gockel Olympic Celebration poster. And you're getting the original to the poster right there. That is, come on, $4,500 was cheap 20 years ago. That is an original. No, it's one of them, but he is hand embellished in pastel. This is so valuable. 200 to open, $100 increments after we get the open. Look at that. This was what they used to celebrate the victories at the Olympics, painted by Alfred Gockel. No open yet. You know... Juliana, you know what another good thing about Christmas is? Juliana, you know the day after Christmas when I go dumpster diving with Ginger? 
Oh my gosh. There's so many treats in there. You'd be surprised, Wilson. People throw away almost perfectly good pies. So you gotta dust off a little bit at the top. You're moving to Detroit, Michigan? You saw Charlie Sheen in Detroit, Michigan. What were you doing in Detroit, Michigan? Well, I saw his live show. You did what? I saw Charlie Sheen's live show. You went all the way to Detroit? Yes. To see Charlie Sheen? <laughs> yes. I saw Martin Sheen 35 years ago white riding a bike a very old bike down Wandermere Road in Malibu. I'm going, I'm thinking to myself, Martin Sheen, apocalypse now. I want to thank everybody. I'm down to the last 14 minutes. What's that? For $200 has been bid. Thank you very much. Now, folks, Park West had 4500 on this. We are at 200 looking for 300 This is such a steal. And I want to thank everybody who's been watching me. I know you have choices where you buy. And I know so many people are going to the airport. Show them what this search says, Wilson, because this is uh, a Park West appraiser. This is Park West, the Park West galleries. And it's telling you all about the piece, certifying it's real. And what I think is so amazing about this piece done by Alfred Gockel is what they didn't list in the cert. You see these lines right here, Wilson? Those are actual pastel that uh, Mr. Gockel added after he already did the lithograph. Put USA Gockel, uh, basically signed it twice, which is another really cool thing. $200 going once. This is way too cheap. Who are we verifying with? Mr. B. Mr. B, this is so cheap. This is double signed by Alfred Gockel. I apologize to your customer. Does he want to make it three? He's, they, Patty's got the open at two. So I'm looking for three. This is 4500 no, Patty's got the open. Right? So I need three. Thank you. 300 has been bid. And Patty apologized for me. I was rude on this auction. It's my mom's fault, though. No, it's my fault. 400, thank you. Nobody believes me. Why is a small kid, Wilson, just a little kid, just this high of a kid, Wilson? I said to my mom, Mom, can I spend some time at my friend's house? She said, Barry, you don't have any friends, and stop calling me mom. That's what ruined my life, Wilson, that one moment. We are at four, right? 400 going once. This is 4500 from Park West. Park West priced this at 4500 And $400. 500 has been bid. This is a uh, double sign gockle. And he's hand embellished it twice, uh, two. 500 
going once, twice, thank you, thank you, sold to Ashley's customer. Now, nobody likes that one dog. Well, I got 11 minutes left. We started with three dogs, three sculptures of dogs, painted by world-renowned artist Pam Foss. She painted this in 2006. She's one of the most famous. I have a comp for 7,500. All of them sold except for the Springer Spaniel. Is that right? A Springer Spaniel? So, if you call me, I have a $7,500 comp right here. I'll name this dog Woody. Yes, sir. All right, Woody. As in Woody Guthrie. <laughs> this land is your land. What did she say? Oh my goodness. Look at that. This is possibly at 7,500, the horse's head that you saw in The Godfather 2. No, it isn't. It has nothing to do with that. But that's just showing you what Pam Foss goes for. So, call me. This is the last doggy in the window. And then if I have enough time left, I'm going to prove Ashley can outsell me. I'm going to give her the mic, let her sell the last Schofield. Somebody buy the Springer Spaniel Woody. Didn't Woody Guthrie suffer from uh, dementia or he, he wrote This Land is Your Land? His son, Arlo Guthrie, wrote a lot of good stuff. No takers. Just got a call. It's not going to be 5,000, 4,000, 3,000. It's not even going to be 2,000. It's not even going to be 1,500. You just got a call. And I have one Schofield left. And I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, great Kwanzaa. Hey, what day is Festivus Day? Wilson, when do they celebrate Festivus? No. You've never been beat by the, the, the stick of shame. Well, I want to thank all of you. I got eight minutes left, and I hope you guys have liked what you've seen. I have some original Gregory Wilhelmi's coming up. I have, oh, I'm working on a big Peter Max buy. Speaking of Peter Max, I promised Ashley I wouldn't do this till the end, but I am going to show it. This is one of the most valuable. Here's a picture, Wilson, of Peter Max. In his high limit room, maybe 15 years ago, he suffered for some dementia. He, um, his kids have helped him, Libra. Here is an airplane painted by Peter Max. He also painted a cruise ship. Here is an original Peter Max. $80,000. And this won't be in. I can sell it to you tonight, but it's going to be about three weeks, maybe a little longer. But one of the most valuable Peter Maxes is Umbrella Man. And here, I don't know what. The three Umbrella Men are. We sold one last week. 
So there's only two, maybe only one left. If you are, it's going to be about two weeks before I can get it to you, before I can ship it, maybe three. Umbrella Man by Peter Max. And this is rare. This is beef tartar in the Peter Max. This image has been sold out uh, for the last six years. Max Graphics does not have any. None. Zero. It's one of Peter Max's, and I don't know what it's going to look like. I printed some in the past. It's a unique original. I believe it's 24 by 36. And they are, it is stunning. Ashley, what is the item number if they want to wait three and a half weeks to get their Peter Max? And what am I selling the Peter Max for? 2840. 2840. Call Ashley. I can only sell one more. I got to be so ultra conservative. Yeah, 95, 125,000. Not going to be anywhere near that. <coughs> what did we decide the price was, Ashley? I'm not going to say it out loud. I just want to know. Uh, hang on, I got to turn my mic off. What do we uh, I only have one Peter Max Umbrella Man. Don't know what it's going to look like. Only got five minutes. Five hundred, that'd be a deal. Right. Yeah, it'd be a deal. I mean, Max Graphics has been out for six years, five, six years. It's uh, acrylic on paper. Nobody wants this one Springer Spaniel. Well, I want to thank you. I got four minutes left. Ashley, you want to sell the last? You want to prove you can sell better than me and sell this last Schofield? Three minutes? Three and a half. All right. Jerry, I have faith in you. What? I have faith in you. have faith in me? Oh, my goodness. Tell you what, we had this up at 700 to open. Yes. Say what? They thought there was a name inscribed up the No. We can get one. Also, you can tell people that I'm here for a couple hours after the show. She's here. Ashley's here for a couple hours after the show. So if they want the ocean Spaniel. Yeah, the Springer Spaniel or the Schofield. Do they want me to sing them a Christmas carol? Please. No, hang on. Call me. I'll sing you a Christmas carol. What are you doing right now? <laughs> well, there's not enough time, and I want to finish the what song. What about the doggy in the window? Oh, yeah. Ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff, too. <laughs> Come on, everybody, call in. Sorry, Barry. Can you sing this song about the doggy in the window? How much is that doggy in the window? Ruff, ruff. <laughs> one minute. Yeah, I got one minute. One minute. You better get it's that almost Christmas. Time. Well, not technically. Almost. No, today's the 20th. Yeah. We got five days. That's not a lot of time. Well, technically, if you're on a cruise, which Wilson won't go <laughs> on, and you think it's the 25th, but then you cross over the international space line. Oh, sorry. Barry, I'm taking a look. Oh, away. no problem. Wilson, we're going to get you on a cruise. We will. Yeah, one for scientific exploration of petri dishes. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Hey, thank you. What do I got left? About a minute? Hey, we love you. We thank you very much. I'll be back next Wednesday. Don't kick that dog, Buford. We know where you live, Buford. I'm sending Wilson over there right now. <laughs>